Sorry. Can you please say hello to Section Korea in Korean? Section TV. An Young Ha Seo. Wait, cut. <laughs> I forgot to give you the mic. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Can you please say hello to Section Korea in Korean? Section TV. An Young Ha Seo. It's your first time in Korea. How does it feel? I've never felt more welcoming somewhere. Um, it's a beautiful country, and uh, the people have been beautiful to me so far. I'm only here for three days, and uh, I really wish I could stay longer because I've been hearing such great things about um, uh, Jeju Island um, with the uh, women divers and uh, the volcano. And uh, I really wish, uh, I really wish I had time to see the secret gardens at the royal palace. There's so much I want to do. Were you able to rest last night? Did you get any sleep? I was told I'd wake up at 4 a.m. Uh, the uh, night after flying in, and uh, that's exactly what time I woke up at. But uh, I'm just so excited to be here that it doesn't matter to me if I get any sleep or not in the next 24 hours. Um, I think I'll, I'll just stay awake based on uh, excitement alone. Were you aware of the fact that there are so many fans here in Korea for you? I'd heard that Prison Break uh, was a big hit in Korea, and I know that uh, we're an international phenomenon. The show is very successful in the United States, but uh, we're even bigger success overseas. And uh, I think that's because the story of Prison Break translates across uh, all kinds of borders and languages. It's a story about how far one man is willing to go to save the loved one. And uh, I think that's something that uh, everyone uh, everywhere can, can really tap into. Is there a way we can do that? this again and just keep the noise in the background down, especially the... Okay. Is that the door setting that off? The little chime? Okay. okay. So you know what I'm gonna do? I will give you the mic. I thought it was that. Okay. But it was this. So once I'm done with it, I'll just give it to you. Okay. You put it near there. Right here. Okay. 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 Is that okay? Yeah. Can we uh, start from the top? Yep. Is that cool? Did you want to set that on something? Is that going to be easier mm -hmm. if you just put it on something? I think... Mm, it's probably better if I just give it to you, no? What's more natural for you? Um, one person holding it, as opposed okay. to asking. Then I'll hold it. Okay. I'll do this, and then I'll yeah. just go like that. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Can we look at the camera? Do you want to practice? I'm young Hase. Section TV. Okay, ready? Can you please say hello to Section TV in Korean? Section TV. I'm young Hase. So, this is your first time in Korea. How does it feel? It is my first time in Korea. I'm very excited to be here. I was given a very warm reception yesterday when I landed, and uh, I've heard um, I've heard so many great things about uh, places to see and, and foods to try that I really wish I had longer than three days to stay here. I was hoping to get to uh, the secret gardens at the Royal Palace and maybe even take a trip to uh, Jeju Islands. I'm really intrigued by the idea of the uh, women divers and the volcanoes there. It's exciting stuff. So were you able to get any rest last night or any sleep? 
I was told that I wouldn't be able to sleep past 4 a.m. Um, the uh, night after flying in, and that was true. At exactly 4 o'clock in the morning, I woke up and uh, wasn't able to get back to sleep. I was just so excited to get my, uh, my day underway. So were you aware of the fact that you had so many fans in Korea? I'd heard that we had a huge uh, fan base that was online because the show hadn't really started to air in Korea yet. But uh, the internet has changed the way um, people get their uh, sources of entertainment. And Prison Break is a hit in the United States, but it's an even bigger hit overseas. And uh, it's tremendously gratifying to me to be a part of a story that uh, translates so well across borders and languages. And um, I can understand why, because I think Prison Break is a story about a man who is uh, willing to go the distance to save a lo- to save a loved one, and uh, that's obviously something that anyone anywhere can tap into. Why do you think you were selected to represent us? Well, I know that the uh, Beanpole brand stands for many things, including uh, craftsmanship, um, style, and innovation. Those are all qualities that I like to be associated with. And I know they also have a great deal of respect uh, and interest in their, uh, in their youth market. And obviously, Prison Break has a huge uh, young audience. So the two uh, seem like a match made in heaven. As we can all see, you look amazing in jeans. <laughs> What's your preference in fashion? I do try to wear uh, jeans as often as possible, um, khakis, t-shirts, sneakers. I'm a very casual person. Occasionally, I like to dress up, and uh, when it comes time to dress up, I uh, always um, ask someone who knows better than I do uh, what it is I should be wearing. Um, but by and large, I try to keep it as casual as possible. Um, Michael Scofield, what do you think his preferred fashion fad is? I think Michael always dresses the part. Wherever he is, uh, he dresses to uh, suit uh, the occasion. So when he was a structural engineer before going to prison, he wore suits that were well cut, um, that probably had some kind of quiet geometric pattern to them. And then once he's uh, an inmate at Fox River State Penn, he dresses just like the other inmates because, of course, he doesn't want to uh, attract unnecessary attention while he's uh, putting together this escape to uh, break his brother out. So what were you thinking about when you were shooting today? I was thinking about angles, actually. It's very uh, important um, when you're taking pictures or uh, acting on camera to be aware of where the camera is at all times because it's not just about you uh, acting or trying to tell a story. You have to make sure that the camera sees it because you can have um, so many things going on in your face and in your eyes, but if your face is hidden over one shoulder and the camera can't see it, um, then it's lost. So you always have to keep in mind where the camera is because you're trying to tell a story and the camera is the means by which you tell that story. Did you prepare a special expression for today's shoot? And if so, can you show us? I didn't prepare a special expression per se, but I figured since um, my my uh, relationship with Beanpole came about uh, thanks to Prison Break and the character that I play that I play on Prison Break, um, I assumed that uh, they'd want a taste of uh, what's come to be known as the Michael Schofield stare in the United States. Uh, some of the fans refer to it as the Blue Steel, which is um, something that came about simply because I have very sensitive eyes, so uh, standing all day in the prison yard squinting into the sun it naturally looked like I was uh, you know always concentrating on what I was looking at and uh, it's little more than this Wow that's <laughs> impressive <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, you have any plans for this summer and if so anything specific that you'd like to share We have just finished wrapping the third season of the show, uh, excuse me, the second season of the show, and uh, we have ten weeks off, and I'm going to spend that time uh, relaxing and recharging my batteries. The show is uh, my priority, and uh, even though a lot of movie offers have come my way, which has been great for me, um, um, I felt it necessary to say no, because when we start up again for third season, I want just as much energy um, um, to give to third season 
as I did than uh, as I did to give to seasons one and two. Um, it'd be nice to work on another project, maybe try on a different role, a different way of talking, walking. But um, for now, I'm content to uh, to tell the prison break story.